guys. Now, you know, this time of the year, it can be a bit depressing if you're a biker. But I may have a solution, and it doesn't involve Prozac. Get on the old internet, find some cheap tickets, get yourself down to Grand Canaria, and check these guys out. That's got to be one of the best shots on the island, doesn't it? it does. Got to be. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to ride that? Canary Motorcycle Tours. It says it's biking's best kept secret. Uh, wife and I have uh, visited now twice. I went in last December, I went in the December before, and we're booked again to go end of this year. So we really like the place. I thought I'd give you guys just a quick tour through what they do and how they go about doing it and a few clips from when we've been riding. The island of Gran Canaria might not look that big but there's a lot of varied riding and enough to keep you going for, for five days. But should you decide to, uh, uh, to try one of the other islands, Martin and Joy can arrange that for you. During our time there we decided we wanted to go over and have a look uh, on Tenerife and uh, they arranged the ferry, we went up to Agueti, caught the ferry, caught the catamaran and you can see the photos here on the on the pop-up on the screen. That's the day we went over to Tenerife. Fantastic day, long day because we, uh, we rode around the island to catch the ferry and caught the ferry uh, to get back all in a day but again, fantastic day out. If you don't know him, the Missenden Flyer has done a great set of videos when he rode with them um, late last year. You know, he, he does some great stuff. I urge you to have a look through, have a look at his videos. makes it ideal especially for for British bikers this time of the year any time from November through into March because obviously you know the weather's so rubbish over here as you can see you know it's snowing here at the moment but the temperatures out there look January 20 degrees February 21 December when we go it's, it's still warm it's beautiful really it's just like riding on a British summer's day in the middle of winter out there. Now for those that aren't familiar with it, Grand Canaria is those little islands there off the Western Sahara. The Canary Islands are made of several islands and Canary Motorcycle Tours is based on Grand Canaria. They're actually based there in Vasendario. Yeah, you fly into uh, uh, into the airport up here. Uh, Joy or Martin, who own the business, uh, they'll pick you up at the airport and they take you down to a choice of hotels. Really, uh, choice of hotels in Vasendario. We choose the Elba. Um, the, the, there's, the, this is the four star option, there's a three star option that I, I really can't tell you about because I've not been there but you know this is nice, it's it's a type of hotel, it's more of a business and conference hotel, it's not beachside, you can't really walk down to the beach from here but it's a comfortable location and it's, it's like about a ten minute walk up to their base where they keep the motorbikes. Um, you know the rooms, are, the rooms are really nice, plenty of space, a lot of them have got balconies, really comfortable, the 
rooftop of the hotel there's a swimming pool yeah we've used that a couple of times it's nice yeah, really nice really uh, a lot of evenings when we've uh, when we've come in from from the bikes got back to the lock up walk back and uh, we often use the bar here as a meet up place have a few beers you know have a laugh have a chat about what you've done in the day it's uh, it's, it's a nice area and we can also have a uh, have a bit of food there if you want it it's not exceptionally expensive for saying that the uh, you know the hotel is so nice you know, it's, uh, it looks quite posh but you know it's, it's just comfortable really and obviously they don't mind bikers being there I think this is my favorite bike that Martin's got in the fleet at the moment a little Honda Hornet great little bike but I believe he's, uh, he's upgrading uh, his high bikes this time he's uh, uh, he's got a Honda CB500 which I think is uh, has just arrived and I, I believe he's having three more Hondas arriving later this year so I'm, I'm looking forward to having a ride on uh, on one of those you don't you don't really need a massively powerful bike on these roads most of the roads are twisty like this it's it's you know it's it, it's an island where you want a fairly light bike you don't want a great big heavy touring machine it's just just not needed and you'll have the most amount of fun i think on the bikes he's got it really uh, it really suits a smaller lighter bike and you don't need massive power because you really can't get massive speed up because of all the twisties i mean here we're on our way down from uh, uh from the mini stelvio i think we're uh, we're heading down to a lunch stop and he takes us to some great places i think there's a uh, there's a donkey based at this lunch stop so uh, anyway i'll sign off for now i hope you've enjoyed having a look and i hope you think about uh, giving it a try cheers for now Freezing. <laughs>